is up, generals. We are back with Ultimate General Civil War. This is the Major General Union campaign. <clears throat> and we are continuing our slow but steady march to Richmond. Um, as a quick reminder, so here's, here's Richmond. That's the last level in the game. Thank goodness. Current status of the Confederate Army is hovering just shy of 50,000. Call it 46? That sounds about right. Training, a little over 50. That's going to mean probably two stars with a handful of threes. Armory is closing on 60, uh, which, based on my previous experience, means that I can't expect to see some Lafayettes in the equivalent. Um, <clears throat> probably CS Richmond's as well. So we're not dealing with Tyler Texas's, thank goodness. Uh, unfortunately, that does mean we're probably dealing with 10-pound parrots and and 24-pound uh, howitzers. Um, we need to go ahead and knock out the um, two side missions. So based on chronological order, we'll be doing the one in June 1st, Harrison's Creek. Um, uh, the army has been cleaned up uh, post... Uh, Cold Harbor, and we're probably still trying to get Grant his third star because I definitely want that going into um, uh, going into Richmond. Um, but we're probably going to do it with Grant commanding first corps um, or third. I don't know. Pirates, Wired's twenties, James's. Yeah, yeah. We'll give. A lot of two stars. I don't know. It's just a lot of two stars generally nowadays across the army. Um, I think we're going to put Grant in command of First Corps, actually. Uh, paradoxically, Grant is... Uh, yeah, First Corps paradoxically has the least experience at the moment, um, predominantly because it didn't do any fighting at all <laughs> in... Um, in uh, Cold Harbor, and I've not been using it much, so let's go ahead and get them some experience. Uh, what's their artillery component? 10-pound ten, ten parrots, 10-pound parrots. Uh, let's get you big guns, big guns, big guns. Yeah, big guns for you. Okay, so if the enemy's going to be bringing lots of big batteries, I want to bring big batteries. Uh, seems kind of lightly armed for this battle but uh you know what wait this is a two core battle isn't it this is a two core battle i core still seems a little lightly armed <clears throat> um but good yeah i still want to lead the lead the drive with i core i think yeah wireds and this is actually fine. Snipers are going to be useful here. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It's a decent complement of artillery. And I think you only get two divisions out of uh, the core that does show up. So it says 24, but I, I, I've seen some other people play this battle, and it doesn't seem like they get the entire division, which is wonky and weird. Uh, but that being the case, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get uh, the guns that I like in... Well, no, this is fine. Howitzers and 20-pounders will be the, to the trick. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so one and two core. We're doing this. Boop, boop. The main thrust will be Grant commanding I Corps. Reinforcements will come with McClellan in his second core. Do I want Fiasco's three core? Uh, let's do Fiasco's three core. Um, some of those troops need to get some more experience too. All right, so we outnumber the enemy, which is always a good time. We outgun the enemy, which is also always a good time. Uh, we outbrigade them. We out everything them, except for out core commands. They've got much smaller core than we do. Um, I haven't put enough points into recon to get any detail about what's coming, but let me tell you what's coming. Two stars and three stars. Uh, <laughs> really good muskets. Um... And probably just stupid good artillery. So uh, this fight is like a battle of patience, I think. Uh, which means it might not make a fantastic recording live. Uh, but we'll see. Um, 
despite Bueller's initial success at east of Peach, to the east of Petersburg, while the city was almost undefended, decided to sort of siege and wait for your troops. So Buell, Butler failed to seize the initiative, it sounds like. Okay. I don't know anything about the historical battle. It's this delay, oper the opportunity to turn it into France 1914. I mean, for the rebels to reorganize their defense over Harrison's Creek. Yeah, that sounds terrible. And at Poor Creek. Okay. An assault up that ridge would, in fact, go poorly. That's accurate. Um, I've played this battle before. You've been ordered to lead, resume the assault, and break the Confederate defensive lines. Oh, yeah, because when Fiasco shows up, shit actually happens. Um, let's take a look at the map. <clears throat> and we're going to get some dudes over here, right? General Kautz has dispatched his cavalry to ride undetected behind the several hills and valleys to reach the out outer Confederate line. That'll be cool. That'll be a nice uh, spoiling force. Ew. Um, ew. Uh, it's all spread out. That's not good. Okay, well, uh, let me take a look. What do we got? Grant himself a couple of infantry units. I don't want this much infantry up here. 24 pound howitzers are not used best in this particular segment of the fight. Wires, however, would do well. Yeah. Whoa. Shit. No. 10 pounders are fine. Where'd the wires go? Wires are good. So these two batteries will be able to just kind of shoot without too much love from uh, the. Is this crossable? It is not crossable. Okay. So then that means. Can I do this? Uh, let's take a look what infantry we've got. Two stars. That's that's actually okay. Um, nothing crazy elite. Uh, let's see if we can't get Grant. No. Come back. Let's see if we can't get Grant to go somewhere else. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Is that crossable? Uh, 10 pound parrots. I think here I kind of want 24 pound howitzers. I bet you I get the whole thing. I get the whole, this is what, 10, 16. So this isn't, this is about a third of my thing, but we can go ahead and drop you. Where's my 24 pound howitzers? Yeah, bring them along. So we want to pierce. So here's the map generally, and I, this one is one that doesn't really expand. So we're going to get reinforcements, meow-ish, and I don't remember what all it is, but it's, I mean, based on the description, it's cavalry or predominantly cavalry. Um, and the immediate intention is obviously to try and clear off this and then be able to push up. And that'd be great. And we're going to have these guys come up and join. And we're not going to really rush it or anything like that. And then once we're in here, we're going to establish this as our base. And then we're going to kind of expand here. And then basically from there, this becomes our new um, home. This is our home. We live here now. Uh, and then we use that to push with the cavalry, destabilizing whatever artillery and supply wagons and shit they've got back here. Um, we use that to destabilize this region, and then the troops push up in here, and then slowly but surely, this becomes our new home. Uh, and so once we're... <coughs> pardon me again, excuse me. Once we're established at this position over here, these troops who have been battering whatever's over here the entire time um, from just atrocious terrain... Just atrocious terrain. I might see if I can't push in here, but that seems like a mistake because I'll be I'll be in musket range from them. So I really do think that we need to just suck it up and be over here in the open, which is not not ideal. Okay. <clears throat> Reinforcements come in. Um, you know what? Some skirmishers actually wouldn't be a bad idea, but they can wait. Um, twenty fours, ten parrots. Yep, that's all fine. Uh, forty fourth, twenty ninth, thirty third. You're coming in a little later. Neither one of these have the spotting perk, do they? No, that's an unfortunate oversight on my part. However, here's the opportunity for them to earn it. Um, the range, however, of the browns will be nice. So we'll go ahead and bring them along. And let us get into it. Let's get dangerous, folks. All right, Grant. Okay, um... The most part, you're all in a good position. I need you probably here before you get to really do your thing. But we're going to wait um, before we do really anything with you. Wait, I need, th I like three. I like three wide. 
There you go. 44th joins, as does the parrots. The parrots can probably do their thing from down here. And we're really just, again, we're trying to overwhelm this trench block uh, and then wheel and then push towards the flag. And we're going to take this region. And I'm pretty sure there is some dense resistance here. That looks like an artillery park. Uh, this is going to be a brigade of dudes. And then we figure out what the hell we're doing with you guys. One, two, three. Un, deux, trois. All right, bullet soaks. My apologies for your existence. It is definitely not my dream to just kind of hang you two out to dry. Oh, mother effer. I didn't move this either. Poop. Well, these two will be able to just shoot unopposed, huh? I guess we're going to have to rely on stealing a supply wagon. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. And or reinforcements. Reinforcements will also help make some of this more bearable as well. Great. Let's put the skirmishers up front and you get to go further back. Because that was atrocious. How can you? No. <laughs> it's not how line of sight works. All right, dudes. Edge forward a little bit. It's going to be unfortunate, but I want them to see you. There you go. Oh, come on. Don't get in musket range, but do get in. I can see you. There you go. All right. That's one. Stop, stop, stop. I don't want them shooting. You guys can shoot, but there's not really any point in shooting them. I mean, I guess I can't shoot past them, except with the artillery. Um, what's your damage curve? Yeah. Jesus, that's got to be 24 pounders? I don't know. Who's seeing me? That's what I want to know. There's some nice thick cover. Things are okay over here. Yeah, we've got good LOS. For whatever reason, they can't see me. I'm standing literally out in the open. That seems weird, but okay. Oh, geez. This is going to get expensive just waiting here. We can't do this. Okay, cool. We get more dudes. Uh, we get a metric boatload of cavalry and my other skirmishers, which is always a good time. Okay, go there. Un, do Actually, these guys will be useful for kind of bum-rushing the... Uh, oh, I didn't realize I could cross over here. Oh, well. Be useful for bum-rushing the uh, trench line right here. Coming along. Everything's going okay. Oh, we got more things over here. I never gave you an order. That is a me thing. I neglected to do that. Uh, supplies just stay over here, I guess. 7th, 30th, 33rd, are not further enough in yet, huh? Looks like, okay. Reinforcements have arrived. Woo! I don't want you shooting. It's a waste of ammunition, and I don't... Ugh. God damn it. We need to silence that gun like yesterday. All right, go the long way around. I want you here. I don't know why they can't see me. They should be able to see me. I'm out in the open. If they can see me, these guys over the up top should be able to see me. I don't know what's going on with that. We got plenty of time, though, so don't worry about this going into the battle. Um, cool. So Barton's a gigantic unit. And that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Let's see what you can see. Let's get you here. Let's start edging you forward. Oh, 
I'd like to put the ten pounds, the ten pound parrots on these guys on that that battery. Um, Like the, him specifically, they can just see this one unit. I don't understand what's going on. Let's just retreat them further back, I guess. Yeah, that's better. That's, I mean, shitty for them, obviously, but it's still better. God dang. What? Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Feel free to waste your ammo doing that. It's okay. Where's my parrot battery? Where'd they go? Oh, they're here. Okay. Someone's charging me. Your cavalry. Oh, well, okay, sweet. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I still I want to scout that artillery. And I want to put the 10-pounders on it. I don't want them wasting time shooting at the infantry. Your job is to get into shell range of Burton and hit them. More stuff. More stuff. More stuff. More cav. This is quite the cavalry command. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks like all carbine cav. Um... 1859s, which is an, it's a good carbine. It's, it's perfectly fine. Um, perfectly fine carbine. Okay. Are you in position? Yes, you are. Cool. Fire at Miller. Fire at Miller. Your whole job at this point is to counter battery. So you're, I want to scoot you forward a bit just to make sure, and you also, it looks like your shell range is quite a bit shorter. Okay. All right, good. It looks like 20th has finally retreated far enough back that we're not being shot at, which is unfortunate for the skirmishers of the 26th, but it's what it is. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. First thing we're going to do is clear the backfield of shit. Oh, rebel cavalry. All right, whatever, who cares? Um, what I find interesting is the presence of a skirmisher brigade. Hmm. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Kill the guns. Everything else is gravy. All right. What do you guys have? Also 59. Well, this is probably just dismounted cavalry is what they're sort of trying to indicate they are. Um, plus 10 firearms. Accuracy. Reload. Okay, cool. Plus more firearms, but then minus accuracy and reload. Wait, so th these two traits just cancel each other out? basically, and, and result in basically 20 firearms. God, that's not smart. Um, ooh, spotting. That's cool. Okay, west is interesting. We like west. And endurance. We like west. West is cool. Um, you're fine. The morale perk is garbage. That's fine. But we like west. Oh, yeah. Get a supply wagon, too, if you can. Fuck it. Bye, Chewie. Good old cavalry brute squad. No, no, no. Why are you, my old boy? Oh, boy. That was... Not really the, uh... And gold that was in my... Ooh, hey, cool. What do we get? More parrots. I'm never going to complain about that. Oh, geez. 
Uh, they're gone. Okay. I didn't realize how large this skirmisher's um, position was. That's uh, probably going to end up going poorly for me, I think. Let's see if we can't get some shots on Brewster. Still no eyeballs on that artillery. Uh, skirmishers. I don't know if I can push you a lot further forward. What about someone here? Can you see what I need you to see? All right. I think we got to pull back. We need to support what's going on over here. Jesus, look at that. Woo, they are all over the place. That's cool. Major General, someone's dead. Always a good time. Just very unexcitedly working on... Yeah. Uh, what are you... Sh you can't see anything. Okay, whatever. Chew's been knocked to approximately half strength, which is always a good time. All right. Well, if we're not going to get the artillery, How's it going up there? What are you guys up to? Doing good, doing good. Alright, looks okay. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Okay. I think we could probably penetrate this position if we could shoot him from multiple sides. Would pretty quickly, he'd call it a day. All right, scooch up. Click this guy. Let's get some follow-on dudes ready to. Capitalize on the breach. Let's get you guys ready for the charge to penetrate. We need to get into this. We need to get moving on this.
If you can get all the way on his flank, so much the better. It looks like some elements of third core is starting to show up. Okay, cool. Um, one of the really exciting things about that is we get a supply wagon down here, which is always a good time. Plus, I'm never going to complain about more infantry brigades. All right. And then we get Fiasco. We get McGilton. We'll start working on degrading Barston's position here. There we go. That didn't take too for long. And it did not require a messy melee assault, which is always a good time. All right. Where's my 10-pound field? Excellent. Good job. Okay. So penetration of the position was messy, but it um, wasn't actually that bad to clear out the trench which is always a good a good time all right now we're doing here how's it going How are we doing up here? Slowly but surely, whittling that artillery down. All right, nice big batteries too. I don't really need you to melee, I just need you to sort of shoot. Shoot her! Great. Get out of there. All right. Um, I'll say the cavalry definitely made this possible. Because uh, it would be probably a much messier process without them, I would I would imagine. All right. Yeah, get those guns out of there.
Oh, interesting. Good. They've got nothing to shoot at, it seems like. Excellent. I'm not seeing anything. Is it coming from down here? Oh, okay, got it. Coming from down here. Where's my cavalry? Cavalry swarm! I need you. Go do cat stuff. Go range about their backfield. I have been forgetting my big asset, which is to say six goddamn units of cavalry. Big old cav division. Alright, get the ten pounders up there. Follow on infantry. When do we get another 24 pounder unit? Excellent. Get right up on their butt. Um, supply wagon as well. More dudes. We'll just sort them out when they get up there. Okay. Hold, you're fine there. You're fine there. Stop moving. Man, you get in their position and they just crumple. Which I guess makes sense, right? They're getting shot from the flank. I wouldn't stick that out. Okay. Get in the house, get in the house. Why are you running? Do I have you on run for some reason? Ooh, that's no good. Get those cannons out of here. No, not them, them, yeah. Convince Layden to leave, please. deal with them seventh just go make him go away gosh you poor guys go to the house go over here also make him go away just yeah that's fine we'll figure it out um go scout Excellent. Good job, infantry. 17th, I'm sorry. You've been sort of taking the brunt of that. All right. Keep that up. Out. 
That is way too close to their infantry. Get out of there. That was a mistake. Okay. I mean, just get in on the dog pile, I guess, dude. Get some experience and morale back, because that was me being a dumbass. Charging uh, Chu when I could just skirmish swarm him out of existence. Get out of here, Layton. And this is going to be more or less second verse, same as the first. Good. All right, this is going to take a little bit, probably, of time. What division are you guys all from? Ah. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then the artillery can go off and be gun, gunnery support. Let's get their elements of 2nd Division together as well. Yeah, that should be okay. Nice, 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 nice. Where's my 10 pound unit? All right. Um, yeah, no, you can shoot that. That's fine. Third Corps, uh, infantry together, move them over here, and, oh shit, they just got reinforcements from somewhere. 
Okay, cool. How many guns do they still have? 116. Cool. Mm, no, concentrate your fire. Let's wipe out. Let's work on wiping out all batteries, shall we? One, two, three. Together. One, two. Together. All of you together as well. All right. Lots of, like, unexciting setup that has to kind of occur. Also, it'd be a good chance to give my guys a chance to rest up. Because, yeah, I mean, they did some work. They're understandably tired. Rebel reinforcements have arrived. Woo! All right. Actually, where both of you guys together? Oh, there we go. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Okay, yeah, I think I want to start taking this as well. I need to silence these freaking guns. Can you reach? Yeah, can you reach? Barely. Cool. Someone's charging something. I just don't know who or what. Okay. You're all together now. One, two, three. As a group. And as a group. Okay. Is the artillery coming? One's mostly in position. I want you right about there.
This is brilliant. They're coming out of their trenches. We don't have an inside edge, unfortunately, this time on their uh, on their breastworks, but it's the same general shtick. Find a point to pierce and then um, push through. Fortunately, somehow, we've moved into places where they can't see us, probably because there was infantry here kind of calling the shots for them, which is good. I don't like having my guys just sort of sitting there taking shots for no reason. Okay, everyone's got orders. Fiasco, go with your guys. Grant, go fight with your guys. Um, Come on, that's a golden target. You can't you can't pass that up. He's right there in the water. Get it, get it, get it. Yes, you can. Alright. Back the fuck up. Okay, we can't do this much longer. gonna do this we're gonna get past her lead the attack with the skirmishers, especially because they're the AI troops and I'm not as worried about what happens to them. Get past Gar Garnet, Garnet's position. Swarm them with cavalry. That's the plan. Just an overwhelming number of targets in a very small amount of space. Hitting one target from multiple sides or multiple, you know, just hitting it a lot. And then trying to, uh, trying to convince him to leave. We'll see how successful this ends up being. There we go. 
Okay. Gotta get in there. One good volley on Hayes. Come on. Come on, you're in there. Right there. Right there. Right... No, on Hayes. He's right in front of you. You're in range. Perfect. Good job, guys. That was, like, probably the biggest danger in my mind. Get the cab back there. Send the skirmishers as well. You may as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Palmer, you can't do this forever, dude. No running. All right, we're in. Good job. No need to run. I'm fairly certain I put you on run, but that's okay. Okay, so now what I try and do is I get all my cab to help get Terret out of there, and then I do basically the exact same thing as I'm doing over here, over here, and then the two of them meet at the flag in the middle, and these guys just sort of tough it out and keep people from crossing the river. See how well that all plays out. But we're in. We're in. Right there. One more, man. You're on the right track. Volley it out. Volley it out. Shoot the artillery. Shoot her. All right, come on, man. Okay, doing good, doing good, very good. Excellent. Now we're going to try and move here. Although, they're countering. They're countering what I want them to be doing, which is not going to work out for me.
Write them down, Six. Yeah, a supporting volley wouldn't hurt, I suppose, hey? Let's get seven in there, too, just to expedite their getting the hell out of here. Skirmishers are shattered. That's fine. They're AI units. Rest up. Okay, so I have to give something Compass some credit. Uh, I've been endeavoring, although not always successful, to keep my division commands together, and it does... It does seem to be making a difference. I can't imagine how. The game doesn't, as far as I know, track uh, division commanders as a mobile entity with any kind of weight as a thing you touch or see or can shoot at or anything, so you shouldn't be able to interact with them at all, and as a result, they shouldn't have any weight or meaning, and yet, and yet here they are. Um, okay, so, sorry, I know the commentary's not been, like, super. Alright, that's excellent. That's excellent. One big-ass brigade, more or less gone. Come on, rally, you're out. Surrender. I mean, they might not be giving you a chance, but you should be surrendering. That's silly. They should surrender. No human on Earth that I can think of would would, would fight that out. All right, so your position. God, I may just fight this whole battle with that that side of the force. The dark, the dark side of the force. All right, there you go. Rest up, you've earned it. So, understandably, they have decided that hey, we need to. We need to convince those damn rebel or damn Yankees to not, you know, just not, uh, which makes perfect sense. I would, I would in their shoes as well, wish the same. So now's when we ramp up the pressure in the center. I need to do something over here. I'm just not sure what. I mean, in fairness, the long range guns are doing their job taking out cannon slowly, but it's happening. Um, I don't know, man. Even these two brigades by themselves without support from the rear would be suicidal. Like, this terrain is just not good. I don't know. I don't know what to do there. I think I just suck it up. Fight this battle with half my army. And still do fine. Keep extending my line. Get Fiasco in there. This is going to be messy. How are you guys doing? Actually, you're all feeling pretty good. Alright, in that case, keep going! Stop it. Shoot the target right in front of you. There you go. There you go. Alright, fix them from the front. 
Break him from the side. Lightfoot? Yeah, Lightfoot's almost out of here. Fall back. No, I get it. That's fine. No. Oh, there's a fuckload of things up there. Oh, that's not good. Get out, get out, get out, get out. I didn't catch that. Oh, there's a lot of shit. Yeah, I just can't go up there. Ah, oh, damn it. Like, what do I do with these things? doing all right. It's a little messy, but we're doing okay. Oh, well, that's... That's far from bad. Another brigade just squirts out and then gets consumed by the horde. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm not happy with the the way that this is going. Uh, this part of it, but it's working. Slowly but surely, grind him down. Come on, Gary. Give it up, dude. That artillery is a real killer. Up, buddy, give it up. So silly. Alright, let's try it again. There's a whole bunch of shit right here just begging to be shot. Oh, 
That's not going to go well for Miller. Well, someone's re-entered the trenches, it seems like. Not that it did them any good, but, you know, hey, sure. Nope. This should be good. Once these two get into position, should be a good time. These six pounders, or these uh, 24 pounders are killing it. I mean, literally, they have many kills. Okay, we're almost in a position where once I can control this, that's cool. I think maybe I just march up the road. Like once I clear out these two bunkers, then I just pour the rest of these reinforcements in there and close the battle out with them. Because um, it's been unevenly weighted, let's put it that way, on uh, the troops that are here. Now at the same time, I don't know, the casualties look kind of okay. Um... I think all things considered, this fight's actually going mostly all right. Better than I kind of initially expected it would, that's for sure. Unfortunately, I can't think of a good use for the uh, for the cavalry at the moment. Okay. No, I know that you're exhausted. That's unfortunate. No, you're just gonna you're just gonna duke it out. I'm like, all right, let's let's just shoot this thing out, man. There you go. Okay. Doing good, guys.
Doing okay. Okay. Developing our position. Um, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. Certainly not ready to finish it, that's for damn sure. Okay. Kick him out of there. Take out Yule if you can. Why not? Let's really degrade their ability to... Uh, collect themselves. All right, these two move in here. You as well, 22. And basically exploit the gap that has been created. I guess I must have walked into combat over here. Interesting. Oh, there's the canister. <laughs> awesome. There it is. Excellent. Okay. That's a big opportunity. Um... Fresh. And f well, no. You need to walk, I suppose. Okay. This might open a door to pour the rest of the reinforcements in. We can send all these troops fresh right up the road here and then occupy and, and push up. And then they'll be in this little copse, which is going to suck, but we'll get it. They're also probably going to be continuously trying to attack this uh, point on the map here as well, I would I would guess. I don't know. Sometimes the AI loses his mind when you take the flags, and sometimes the AI is like, no, this is a good piece of terrain. We're going to hold this. I don't, I don't know how that's going to go. Come on, Gary, get out of there. Got him. Nice. Okay. Aha.
With the exception of Lee, I'm not really worried about anything else down here. All right, gents. I think we got them. We're all boxed up anyway. Alright, that's probably, yeah. Um, I've seen cleaner of this battle, but this is actually going okay. Yeah, that's when shit starts getting crazy. So now we're going to have kind of a messy grind, but as far as I know, they've been mostly decannoned. Uh, and a lot of what they've got left is either understrength infantry or like cavalry hiding in the corner. A lot of that stuff's going to start falling apart the second we can kind of put any real volley fire on it. Um... And we've got a lot of fresh troops that I can just commit straight to the fight. Which is my intention. Fresh troops to spread the casualties around, but also fresh troops who are well-rested uh, and have large volleys. Large, powerful, hurting volleys.
Oh, yeah. Get it. That was kind of big. There you go. They're now pretty firmly hemmed up in a nice, nice block. Get another volley off. Yep. All right. Let me box them in. Actually, no. You've taken enough casualties. Then we box them in. Now it's just a matter of mopping it up. That's all she wrote, I think. Yeah. So, um, Siege of Petersburg, man. This is a super cool fight. I think I maybe set off a timer. We'll find out in about two getting game minutes. Regardless, I've had the opportunity to inflict plenty of casualties and see how it goes. Whether or not I get more, because I would love to just kind of finish boxing this up, but I guess not. That occurred to me. Okay. Uh, before medicine, 6,000. I don't know how many of those are mine. Uh, sorry, 6,900. So call it 7,000. So before medicine, that's going to be 1,400 or after medicine. But I don't know how many of those are my units. Probably plenty. Probably a good, a good bit of them are my units. Also frustrating so many officers. This one in particular. Actually, these two. Uh, but let's take a look. We captured a brigade's worth of Richmond's money. Um, good, good. Yeah, okay, they had a pretty healthy artillery. <laughs> Straight money, always a good time. And, oh, they had a lot of great counter battery. Yeah, that's not surprising. Um, okay, also not surprising. Money, money, some stuff that's just money. All right, cool. Yeah, so that was uh, a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely kind of a grindy fight insofar as you kind of have to go slow. Uh, but... Yeah, that's Harrison's Creek. So the next battle is predominantly a defensive fight, um, which gets a little silly because you just kind of sit there and it's on a timer. <clears throat> what do you need? Do you need a one star? Yeah, you do. Good enough. Cavalry. Hmm. Oh, man. I'm going to have to just probably... I may as well do it now, then. Uh, 
Oh, this is going to get messy. Next, It's going to be just annoying UI stuff. I know you generally need uh, at least a one star, right? Yeah. Nope, two stars. <laughs> Here you go. Good on you. Excellent. Well done. Congratulations. What about you? Melee charge damage. Firearm stamina. Firearms melee spotting stealth. Paradoxically, I feel like that's better. Spotting is always a good thing. Minimal officer losses elsewhere. I'm pretty sure we can get out with a colonel with you, right? Yep, colonel's fine. Um... Okay, that wasn't that bad, I guess. Yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and get everything cleaned up. We'll go ahead and fight Georgia Railroad, probably with Third Corps, because it's troops we've already got. Um, their army has slightly grown, their training has gone up, and their armory has also gone up. So I'd imagine that will continue to be the case going into Richmond. I defeated minus 10% army morale. That's always a good time, minus 5% size. And the army... Has be oh, has better weapons because I didn't defeat them. Okay, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, all right, hey, this is Fiasco. Um, we are really close to wrapping this up. So it's pretty exciting stuff. I will uh, see you guys in the next one and hope you have a good one. This is Fiasco signing out.